Tennessee State Senator Stacey Camfield, Republican, has a long history of being a genius. Earlier this month, he proposed cutting welfare benefits for kids with poor grades. So smart. And attacked an eight-year-old critic as a prop. Last January, he also authored Tennessee's Don't Say Gay Bill. And get this, this is my favorite one. We actually talked about this on the show. He compared homosexuality to shooting heroin. Yeah, you're not a repressed gay person. Uh, and he threatened to reduce funding for the University of Tennessee because they did sex education there. A real, real bright guy we're dealing with here. And oh yeah, he was a plaintiff in the 2009 birther lawsuit demanding President Obama release a birth certificate that he already released. So uh, he went on his personal blog on Sunday to mock Dianne Feinstein and the assault weapons ban. He labeled a pressure cooker, a quote, assault pressure cooker, and he captioned it, here comes Feinstein again. And he like, you know, pointed to the handle and said, uh, multi-barrel handle, trying to make comparisons to guns, whatever. And on Monday, he followed up by saying, quote, inappropriate? Me? Never. He wrote, really? If my post was inappropriate, talking about crockpot control, then where is the outrage from the left when they push for gun control after the Sandy Hook shooting? I'm so sorry if I exposed your double standard. Well, not really. Oh, count it. So why am I wasting my time? Why am I bringing this up? Because, hey, he's uh, an awkward douchebag who has no logic or reason, so let's point him out for what he is. Hey, you idiot. You want to know why we're not uh, screaming about pressure cookers and how we should regulate pressure cookers? Want to go ahead and read me the death toll of gun deaths every year versus pressure cooker deaths? Yeah, so one uh, awkward Chechen boy terrorist schmuck was able to concoct a, a bomb out of a pressure cooker, right? Uh, so that accounts for three deaths and hundreds of people injured. Now, of course, I'm not downplaying that or demeaning that. It's a very serious thing. The full weight of justice should be brought down upon this guy, and my deepest sympathies go out to the people affected by it. But there are 11,000 people on average that die from gun violence, you jackass. You know, Republicans are not big on numbers. These things called facts. Here's another example. I love when they do the, you know, a pencil or a pen can be a deadly weapon, so should we do pencil or pen control? How many people got killed by pencils and pens? You pick the year. I don't care what year. You want to do 1976? You want to do 2001? You want to do 2007, 2013? You pick, buddy. 2010? 11,000 gun deaths on average. What do we have? Six deaths via number two pencil? God, they're so stupid. No, I'm sorry, but all of their arguments are horrendous. At least try to come up with something somewhat convincing, somewhat persuasive. But they don't need to because they're preaching to the choir. And the choir is like the, you know otters or seals or whatever they are. Just going, yeah, yeah. I don't like Diane Feinstein, so yeah, I agree, even though it's a dumb point. 